All right, now the mic is on. Man, I had to. I have to. I'm having to re- completely redo this because I sit up there talking and I look down in the doggone red light. It's blinking on the uh, Blue Yeti mic. So here we go. Greetings, fellow watchers and racers. This is WRL Podium 13. Welcome to another video. We have as a special guest in our Battle of Beatles year end 2021 special that took place yesterday, 12 18, 2021, a Saturday. Z28 Gaming, as you can see, he is in P6. Now, I did start the race, and we're going to ride along with, with Mr. Z to see what kind of a start he got at this particular race. We can go through the list and see all the different people who are uh, participating. Uh, tell you what, let's do this. Let's pause the race real quick and we'll go through. We got DLC TSAC, uh, VSX Ultra from Finland, the American, the Finland. I don't know what flag that is, but Henry Yanas, I need to learn what flag that is. Another Finland guy, Sarju, WRL Podium 13th and 5th. P6, of course, Z28 Gaming in this, uh, what do you call this? Designed by 72. Interesting. I was born in 72. But he's got this skull like. Let's take a look at that livery that Mr. Z just, uh, picked up. All right. Walk mode. Let's walk around. Let's go in there and see what he what what is he wearing? <laughs> is he wearing the same kind of uh outfit? Ah, probably not. Makes you wonder. Is that a fat attack unit that he's got in? No, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, 72. Ah, so he's got death and skull. Mr. Z must be a uh, you know, death and skull worshiper. We need to have a conversation about that. <laughs> Just kidding. But he's got the death skull livery. We're going to call him the, the metallic death skull livery. And that's what Mr. Z is rocking today. But anyway, so as we get back to the list, we got GT Granddad from the UK, um, Ultra Nitro, Ultra Nitro from the Americans. Two Americans. We got AL Destroyer, that will be Apple Lauder. And of course, Butthead 666. Ooh. Little Man from the Americans. UK Demo, uh, another American, Will. And Op Opal on Pop, the Finland, bringing out, rounded out the. Uh, top 14 now the, the way the grid was set up is basically whoever it saw all the races were strong slipstream every last race was strong slipstream so whoever was in the whoever won the previous race which of course would have been opal on pop in the 66 and mr z this wasn't actually his first battle of beatles race his first battle of beatles race was the 66 which took place at spa and as a result he got hit and we all this time all the time we thought it was apple Lauda. we thought it was apple Lauda who hit him but it wasn't it was that mr z actually dove in and to take the uh, take an inside line, I've already deleted the video, so I can't show you, because I've already snapped the uh, snapped the winner and everything. And then I, when I looked at the video, I was like, "Oh, all this time it wasn't Apple Lauder, it wasn't AL Destroy, it wasn't him. It was um some guy from Canada named Tim something. That's who actually turned Mr. Z. And he didn't he you know of course you know in Spa there was only three laps, and you needed to, you needed to be in the strong slipstream because he was up front, you know. So he got pulled out. He he pulled out of that, that race and watched it. And of course, this is race number two, of course, which he is going to we're going to watch and see what he does in this particular race so now we're going to head and route mr z he got a pretty good pretty good start there now we can't see the telemetry but it looks like he got a pretty good start and i don't think he used traction control now me i'm watching i'm we're going to watch behind them and we're going to ride along with me i got dove in on right there and pushed to the outside by now that wasn't apple lauda apple lauda is right there in the p8 in p8 that was Ultra Nitro who came in on me. So we got the Finland and we got Opal is going to come up through through the field pretty fast because I was actually rooting for Opal because Mr. Z, he actually quite quite surprised us by showing up. And I was like, holy crap, Mr. Z showed up. And as you can see, <laughs> Opal is not taking any prisoners. He's trying, I mean, he's on a mission. Now, and I was actually rooting for him. Now, I didn't make that much of a big deal. You know what? I got to stop and take a look real quick. Is that little man? Is that little man right there? I want to stop real quick and take a look at this livery because this is a good looking livery. I really like this livery right here. That is a good looking livery. Man, look at that thing. Holy moly. I want that. I want to, I want, oh man. Oh, he's even got the Fanatec. He's even got Fanatec on there. That is a good looking livery. I am going to keep this video because my goodness, you know what? Let me take a shot of that. I want, I want, I want, I want that. I, 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 I want, I'm, I'm shooting that right now. While we're doing the video, I'm going to take a picture of that because that is a beautiful livery. I'm saving that. I am saving that. Come on. Yeah, I don't even mind that it's going all fast. Definitely got to, definitely got to save that. That is a beautiful livery right there. Save this image before closing. Yes, we'll save it. We'll come back to it later. All right, now, 
let's get out of here. You know, let's change the shutter speed real quick. This is probably not what people want to watch, but let me just do this real quick. Give me another shot. Change the shutter speed so we can slow it down, get a better picture. Rendering, 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 rendering. Ah, it's still kind of blurry. Come on, I'm going to change the shutter speed just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 1,000 shit. Give me what I'm looking for. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. But that is a really good looking livery right there. I mean, it's still kind of blurry, but we'll take it. It's not completely clean. But that is a good looking livery. All right, we're five minutes into this video. Let's get back. Save the image. I'll save the image. All right, let's get back to the racing. Now I'm returning to camera selection. Yes, get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now that's Butthead666, right? That was Butthead666, or was that Little Man? No, that was Little Man. All right, so now at this particular point, Opal is in the 11th spot. I think he was I think he was a pushing just a little too hard, of course, for what I'm saying. He's a pad user. But as we get back up front, this basically up front, when we were in this particular race, we got the Finland and see now, people were having trouble because if you're not used to running the strong slipstream, you're not going to be able to properly adjust your braking because you're gonna be carrying so much speed, you're gonna have the air off your nose, you know, and it's a strong slipstream. So so many people were not used to this and Mr. Z28 gaming. He was one of those, but at this particular point, He's pulled out front. He's gone. Now, if this was just a standard slipstream, I very seriously doubt if anybody would have caught him. But I'm not sure if I had boost on, but I know it. Oh, he slid right there. I'm not sure if I had the boost on. There was a couple of times I actually tried to boost on because the reason I wanted to use strong slipstream, I wanted it to keep everybody together. But if anything, it almost looked like it was a bit counterproductive because so many people were just crashing into each other. And if we go back here to where I am, well, let's ride along with me. Let's ride along with me. We'll go from the uh, chase perspective. You'll see what I'm talking about as far as how, how people in it. Okay, I'm on the outside of Nitro. Oh, he taps me a little bit. I go wide. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It uh, looked like. Who was that just went around? That was, uh, was that VX Ultra? Yeah, that was VX Ultra who just went around. But as you can see, we're going to come up through what particular section that it is. I think it's after we come down through here. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're coming up on it now. We're coming up to the hairpin now. Z28 Gaming is still up front, and he's pretty much got himself a pretty good, pretty big margin right there. I and mean, that's a pretty solid margin. He is gone, and you expect that from Mr. Z. But Sarju is actually going to, you know, walk him down. And at this particular point, I'm not even sure if Sarju is actually in the strong slipstream range, because I don't really know the range of strong slipstream. I think it's probably about two seconds, I think. I think it's pretty big. Strong slipstream is pretty big. And you get to walk somebody down fast. And as you can see, Opal has now made his way. Now, let's take a look at this livery. Because this is a good looking livery. And I think Opal did this himself, if I'm not mistaken. If you look at it, the standard, as you, if you look closely, you see the teeth marks. And then we get up front. That's the livery. The black livery is the black livery. It's like it's a standard uh, beetle livery for the Group 3 beetle. But if you can look on the hood, what do you see there? See that zipper? What he's basically telling you this is that underneath, you got Herbie. And I thought that is just, when I first saw that, I was like, oh my goodness. That is just the coolest livery. And he did this, I think, before he got a chance to put the Bob logo on it. And then he updated it. And of course, he put the Bob logo on, logo on there, which was originally designed by Balakus. But that's Opal on Pop. He is probably one of the, he is probably the fast. I know he's the fastest 66, uh, 66, uh, 66 Beetle driver that we have. Fiji is another one. McLaren Fiji is another one. And I would like to see Fiji and Opal on Pop on the same track. I'd like to see those two go at it because they, 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 they can really drive those cars. And Daiko is actually getting pretty good too. Cars is pretty good. Although Cars, I think, panics a little bit. I mean, not panics, but I think he gets nervous in the race. He does really, he qualifies really well, you know, and I think he's another good driver. But I think when it comes to the race, I think he gets a little nervous, but he's another one of the fast ones. But as we can see, Z28 Gaming at this particular point, it's now been walked down. He's now been walked down. And when you consider how big of a margin he had, Mr. Z, at this point, he did know that it was strong slipstream because when we were first doing practice, he was wondering why cars were just flying by <laughs> like they were. I was told all the races were going to be strong slipstream because the idea was to make sure that all the cars stayed together. But now that I realize only so many people are aware of how the strong slipstream works because not too many people do it. Most, and I can understand that. You, I mean, if you're a competitor, you really don't want to run strong slipstream. You do strong slipstream for fun, just for the sheer joy of racing other cars now as you can see the finland has caught him and then opal is not that far behind we got these three cars here basically you know fighting for p3 t-sac 
Opal and Butthead are all basically running in this fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. I mean, third, fourth, and fifth spot. And they're basically eventually going to, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're eventually going to walk these guys down. But at this point, you can see Mr. Z is actually trying to break the slip. And if this was the race, this was for the race win, Mr. Z would have won that. But Mr. Z goes to dive from the inside and to protect his inside line. And then, of course, Sarju goes to the outside. Now, they're racing really clean here. They're racing very, very clean right here. Woo! Sarju gets very close to that barrier. But now with the strong slipstream in play and these two having to race, Mr. Z having to defend, they're coming around this, what, what, do you, what do you call this particular section? The section of lefts. This is what, the four left? One, two, three. Yeah, it's a four left turn. We're going we're gonna to call it the four L's. Now, as you're coming through the four L's, Mr. Z actually looks like he backs off, which actually was, I think, was a smart thing to do because if he had to kept going, he run the risk of a mistake happening. He got pushed wide. So him, for him to back off and duck behind and tuck behind Sarju was actually a smart move. When, if there's one thing, if you watch D28 Gaming, he's a coach. He's, he's Mr. Z for a reason. He's calling him Coach Z for a reason. He understands racecraft. Now, as you can see, they're having the race. Now, Mr. Z is now sandwiched by the two Finland guys, but he has an American teammate, if you want to call him that, on his back. That's the T-Sack. And then, of course, we got Butthead. And, of course, he's at this particular point in the strong slipstream, depending on the driver's skill, we've got a five-car race for P1 when you think about it because we're, we're, we're just only beginning to come around to this particular section right here. Now, at this particular point, I had already pulled out of the race. I want to go back. Let me go back and show you something, though, of what I was talking about. I think it happened as early as lap two. I want to show you what I was talking about for people who don't do. Yeah, it's this particular section right here. This is perfect. Perfect. All right, go back. All right, who do we watch this from? At this point, I'm still in the race. I pulled out to call the race. So if we watch this, we'll watch this from this particular perspective. Let's go at once. Now, this is what happens. Watch as we come down through here. That's to the inside. And now, this, this is, that wasn't deliberate. The bottom line is, when you're doing strong slipstream, you're coming down the hill. Your brakes are already going to be affected because you're going to be carrying so much speed. That's one. Two, the air is going to come off your nose. You won't have the proper downforce to get the tires down into the ground, so the brakes will help you. Your car is just going to understand why. And you're not going to be able to stop the way you need to stop. And depending on how you have your brake balance set, it's just going to affect it. So now, that's what I was talking about. But at that point, let's go back to the fourth lap where we were and watch Mr. Z coming in through the four L's. We already saw that particular part. Mr. Z is still out front. Let's watch him from this, um, what, we, what do you call this? This is not the chase perspective. I don't know. What do you call this perspective? Whatever do you call this perspective? The, 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 the helicopter cam now, because the helicopter will be up in the sky. But whatever you call this particular view, we're going to watch it from this particular view. But at this point, now, see, as you can see, yeah, we have moved past this. Yeah, here we, here we are. This is about where we're supposed to be. Video is now 12 minutes long. We're getting close to the end to watch to see what's going to happen. At this particular point, Mr. Z is, like I was saying before, he's sandwiched between the two Finland guys. And I was actually rooting for Opal because I'm thinking, Mr. Z, you know, you're the coach, but there's no, I, 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 we got to have, we can't, we can't have a newbie come in. We can't have a new Bobby come in, <laughs> a new Bob driver come in and dominate, which he was out front for a big margin for quite some time, which you would expect with his skill. Now, at this particular point, he's being sandwiched. So we're gonna we're coming around. We're, okay, now let's watch this from Opal's perspective. Let's get, let's ride with Opal. Mr. Z looks like he was gonna dive to the inside. Oh, oh! Now see, I'm not so sure Mr. Z saw him. He he. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. And at this particular point, Opal has now taken the right line, squeezed it up through there, and taken the lead. Mr. Z is. Oh! Now we got to go back and watch that and see what happened. What happened right here? See, Mr. Z was coming over, and I don't think he saw Opal. And this is one of the things he was talking about in practice, how somebody was coming up so fast. So what we'll do is, I want to make sure I use the right controller. Okay, all right, that's the right controller. All right, so now, I don't think Mr. Z saw him, because watch his wheel. He kind of came over, and I don't think he saw Opal. Now, that's Sarju out front. Sarju gets tapped a little bit by Mr. Z. He's backed off that at this particular point. Now, Mr. Lee has the, Mr. Z has the racing line. He gets over in there. Let's go back and let's creep that forward a little bit and watch that one more time. At this particular point, Mr. Z does tap him a little bit. He gets a little unsettled and his car does go wide. So, as we creep forward, coming in through here, I don't think the t I don't think this 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 rumble strip corner. Now he takes it really well. I mean, look at where his rear tire is. He doesn't know. His car doesn't get upset. Now the car, but. The car does twitch a little bit to the left, and then it starts to go back right. If we look at Mr. Z's, let me see. We look at Mr. Z's input. He's got his wheel pretty much kind of turned to the right. Look at the throttle. 
He's under half throttle. So as we continue to creep forward, Mr. Z, now Mr. Z's at full throttle at this point. And then he, but he backs off of it again. I think he may have finally saw uh, Sarju on, the, on his outside over there. So as we continue to creep forward, yeah, Mr. Z, he's, he's trying to get back in the throttle. And he's, he's modulating the throttle. Look, he's modulating the throttle. He's going, yep, yeah, he's back below half throttle at this particular point. And Saju just gets, it looks like he just gets tapped. So we go forward. Yeah, he goes out into the grass. And of course, at that point, Saju had quit. Because I was wondering what happened to it. But we were on the final lap at this point. And now, at this point, Opal had gotten out front. But Mr. Z's coming back. We're going to watch it from butthead, um, butthead perspective. Coming through the four L's. Mr. Z backed off again. And you have, you have to figure that he's race aware. Opal goes a little wide right there, but he still has got, got the lead. I mean, you have to figure that Mr. Z is aware where we are. This is the final lap, and we're coming around the fast, fast, fast little pieces of turn. Um, now, at this particular point, I don't know if Opal got uh, a little nervous. Mr. Z is using the Fanatec, and Opal is on the pad. Right at this particular point, Mr. Z was able to get behind them, take the hairpin, dive on the inside. Oh, they both got a little squirrely right there, so they're still in it. There's not really, there's, we really can't determine who's going to be the winner just yet. If we look at it from, let me see from butthead's perspective butthead is right here on, in on it too butthead dies on the inside it looks like mr z decided to go defensive but he may have saw him coming low oh oh we may have we may have to call opal on that one we may have to call opal on that one let's ride with opal and see where he was it looked like he was possibly trying to trying to take the race line go really really wide oh yep yeah he turned in on him i'm not so sure he saw him it's quite possible he did not see him at this particular point. We're coming around the final turn now. Yeah, that's the final turn. Mr. gets up on there. I think at this particular point, if, he, if we know Mr. Z drives from the bumper camp, so at this particular point, Mr. Z is pretty much kind of gone. Opal actually spins around, but he gets the car settled again. Mr. Z comes across. T-Sat comes across seconds. The two American and Finland flashing his lights comes across third with butt head. And it was actually a pretty good race. Mr. Z was actually able to pull off the win right here. You know, like I said, it wasn't his first battle of Beatles. He actually hosted a Beatle race on his live stream one day. But, but for me to be hosting and to be streaming for him to pop up, this is a truly an honor. We call him, I call him the president of speed. But as you can see, Mr. Z was able to pull off that strong slipstream race. His first battle of Beatles win, is, it wasn't an official Bob, but for the year-end special, Mr. Z28 won that race. And it was pretty fun to watch. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Ran a little long. I could have maybe probably tried to keep it up 15 minutes, but I wanted to see the couple of stuff. I want, then I also wanted to uh, get a snap of that livery. But this is WRL Podium 13. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say thanks again to Mr. Z28 for popping in and, you know, showing some love and doing the Battle of Beatles with us. This is WRL Podium 13. I'm out. See you next video. Lighters, lighters, lighters.